If you follow my channel, you'll know that over the last year or so I've become a huge fan of Ironheart uh, denim and clothing. Um, they've just run a 15% off sale worldwide on their web pages, and I thought it was a good time to try out some of their shirts. So, in this bag, I've got three shirts. I'm not going to keep all three. Uh, there's a couple of different sizes and a couple of different styles. Um, they're all Western style, and I've got 12 inch, uh, 12 ounce rather, uh, tonal stitch denim, and a 12 ounce uh, indigo wabash uh, denim, and that's basically a, a deep indigo colour with bleached uh, pinstripes or dots falling pinstripes. So let's get those out and take a look at them. Um, first of all, the packaging. Um, this came in a sort of protective plastic envelope on the outside, but always like a bit of attention to detail packaging really gives you that feeling of a you know a quality exciting purchase and what I particularly like is a little W for works on the side there which mimics uh, what you find on a lot of their denim so there's normally a, a W hidden away somewhere um, sometimes contrast stitching sometimes tonal um, but I just thought that was a really nice attention to detail there. And by the way, on these, uh, they're the 55501s, 21 ounce denim. I'll be doing a 12 month review on these really shortly. Um, these were a new year purchase last year, so these are good to go um, for a one year update. But as I say, let's go and see what's in this package. Um, so we'll flip it over. And on the other side, we've got a, a tear strip see what's in the pack. Okay, so we've got packing slip, which I'll keep there. It's a nice chocolate, slightly squashed, but squashed chocolate is still good chocolate. That's a really nice touch. And then we've got the shirts. As we prepare to take a little bit of a detailed look at these shirts, um, the first thing obviously to mention is the, the denim, uh, both 12 ounce, both I believe single wash, so most of the stretch has already been taken out, or most of the shrinkage rather. Um, these are naturally slightly oversized, or certainly the, the indigo uh, version here is slightly oversized to account for a little bit more shrinkage. Um, we'll talk about my expectations in a minute when we show some uh, fit images um, uh, and why I'm picking the one that I have because I've got medium and large um, I'm actually gonna go for the large but we'll talk about that a bit more in a minute um, detailing and the quality of stitching quality of materials is always sort of second to none on Ironheart and that's really what's brought me to the uh, brought me to the brand really it's always the the attention to detail uh, the little folds over where you see the selvage all through uh, the designs. So we'll take a little bit of a detailed look at the construction on this indigo version um, but before we move on, on the Wabash version it really is quite beautiful how this um, double, double indigo um, weave and weft um, has been uh, sort of bleach dyed to create this sort of spotted pinstripe. It really is rather nice. Um, this isn't actually going to be the shirt that I keep. I am going to keep one of these uh, denim with it, tonal stitching. Um, this I think I'd probably not wear as much but it will remain on my list. I do want to have one of these eventually because the fades that you get out of this is absolutely beautiful. Um, so we'll just focus on the, the denim version initially. So working down the shirt obviously you've got a nice little hang tag on the pocket Another little charming thing about uh, Ironheart is the sort of the words they add on these sort of hang tags, um, sort of almost sort of slightly broken English, gives you that feel of a sort of a Japanese product and uh, something nice to read. I do like to have a little something to read. Um, it sort of adds to the experience of purchasing. Very nice hat hangs over there. Um, Indigo, or sorry, Ironheart logo there. Um, tonal stitching all around the pockets and the in, uh, Ironheart branding on these Permex black so almost like Bakelite but I'm sure it's just a regular plastic snap on the insides of the uh, opening here 
obviously got top quality stitching and you can see the stitching on the yoke at the back, back there um, but nice little bit of selvage detail there always nice to pick up where they've done that obviously that limits the the amount of fabric they can get off that uh, that roll of denim because they need to keep the edging for features like this so not a cheap way of manufacturing obviously these have got all the hallmarks of a western shirt so the extra details up here on the shoulders very attractive and slightly understated with the tonal stitching so normally you'd have the sort of gold traditional denim stitching there but nice tonal stitch just making it a little bit subtler but over time this will pop out with a nice sort of highlighted fade on the edge is my expectation again the nice arcs on the pockets to match that western feel on the cuffs you've got a double button cuff it is a single position so if you've got a tight cuff you really want to consider that and in fact that's one of the decisions I made when I was looking at the uh, the shirt between the large and the medium is that the cuffs were that little bit tighter on the medium the medium was almost a perfect fit but if there was going to be any shrinkage um, it would be a struggle and certainly layer underneath would be would be a challenge so also I found on the cuff is that on my left wrist where I wear a watch uh, typically sort of a, a sports style watch which isn't sort of too small in profile it was actually stopping my cuff being done up comfortably so that was one of the decisions behind uh, choosing a large over the medium on the inside there you've got the selvage detail again it's nice to hunt out these details when you first sort of get these products and uh, a second button snap just to keep the, the cuff opening nice and sort of windproof on the reverse of the front pocket there you've got some more info about washing so wear as long as possible without washing then turn the garment inside out machine wash cold separately do not bleach remove promptly tumble dry low warm iron if needed uh, works incorporated which is the sort of parent company i believe to ironheart so for my washing regime um slightly cautious being a, a shirt rather than jeans so maybe something which needs more frequent washing but i'll be washing this as seldom as possible and i'll be washing it the same way as i do my my jeans so not a machine wash um i scares me a bit the uh, the streaking and the the unpredictable sort of stretch or fade uh, or, or shrink on a machine wash is is something which concerns me a bit um, but a bathtub soak um, something gentle like uh, warlike darks or indeed the the samurai thunder soap that i recently got um, every couple of months hopefully will be enough and if i keep the temperature right i don't expect to see too much shrinkage uh, if at all um, talk about shrinkage online on the forums it does suggest these can shrink up to a centimeter in all sort of key measurements so across the chest which isn't that much of a problem because it will stretch back out again um, but also in the arm length and the body length um, because those dimensions aren't under tension you're not going to stretch those out again so on the medium uh, that I, I got here um, the body was only just the right length just um, they are cut quite short obviously these designed for the Japanese market and um, the sort of Western market would generally have a longer body longer arms and so both the body and the arms were just right on the medium but to the point where any sort of shrinkage would probably make that shirt not really wearable so that's why I plumped for the large the large isn't massively larger um, but it did seem to be a wise thing to do so flipping over the shirt just to have a look at the, the detail on the back again you've got traditional western detail yoke at the back there really nice feature really sort of makes the shirt pop in my opinion it, it makes this different to any other shirt that i own um and so i'm really enjoying sort of having in my wardrobe but again the tonal stitching really plays that down so it's not in your face 
you're not quite expected to wear a Stetson, um, but it's got all the styling sort of cues of a Western shirt. And then moving down, really to the the finale, um, the bottom of the shirt. Obviously, you've got the the splits up the side for comfort. So if you were going to wear this in your clothes, uh, tucked in rather, um, that would tuck in nice and neat and tidy. Uh, but of course, this will be worn out. It's going to be a casual shirt, and you've got the nice sort of gusseted or bellows to feature there. Nice bit of selvage again. And these little bits dangling off, they're not a, uh, a manufacturing defect, it is a sort of artifact, a uh, reminder of the, the, the chain stitch construction of these. And just another little feature that you get with a sort of hand stitched, handmade, traditionally crafted shirt, something quite interesting. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Obviously top notch stitching throughout. Um, as you can see, you know, the insides perfectly finished. I've never had a dropped thread or a, a sort of misaligned seam on any Ironheart product that I've seen. Little tab on the inside there, motorcycle specialities. Yeah, absolutely fantastically crafted shirt. One of the uh, nice uh, features of the Wabash shirt here is that the solid indigo inner really sort of makes that stitching pop and you can see the, the perfection in each stitch that's been put in there. Also, uh, nice contrasting red stitching on a number of the seams which just really adds something. Uh, no selvage on this model, it's not a selvage denim in itself. Um, but just a nice extra thing to look at if you if you love denim and quality construction it really pops out on this particular colour and the detailing is that extra bit more vivid. As I say um, I'm going for the, the medium over the sorry I'm going for the large over the medium and that is substantially because um, the medium is a lovely uh, tailored fit, absolutely great out of the bo box, out of the bag, um, but I am concerned that any shrinkage would affect my enjoyment of the garment, uh, it would make it really hard to wear. What I would like to do is layer these, so wearing it with a, sort of a thick t-shirt or maybe a, a long sleeved sort of Breton style t-shirt so I can open up the, the buttons and, you know, have a, have a nice interesting striped garment below um, but I couldn't layer in that way with a medium with any sort of confidence so I am going with the with the large I think it's going to be a good fit um, you be the judge um, but that's what I'm going to go with I don't think I'm going to wash it initially I was going to initially think about getting the stretch out but I don't think um, or sorry getting the shrinkage out but I don't think my washing regime is going to create that much stretch um, so the, the honeycombs on the insides of the arms, for example, won't misalign after washing. Um, but I will update in due course and let you know what the outcome of that was. Did I make the right decision? Did it shrink or did it not? So um, I'll probably do a six month update on this, show you how it's getting along. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. I'm hoping to get some nice contrasting fades. Initially the highlights around the the, bucket, uh, the button pockets, the, the yoke, the the arcs, the crescents, all those sort of features will be highlighted, I hope, with some initial early sort of fades on the edges, and then the honeycombs around the arms will come later on and really make that an exciting uh, sort of evolution for the garment. Okay, well that's about it. Um, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Um, as I say, massive fan of Ironheart uh, products and um, generally sort of heritage wear, sort of Red Wing boots, uh, going to do a feature on Dana boots soon because I've never got my hands on those before. Um, yeah, love high quality garments, footwear, um, everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives. Uh, if you haven't seen my channel, check it out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, I hope that's useful. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye.